Hey guys, and welcome to the next episode of my FIFA 20 Aston Villa career mode. Uh, so we're gonna, I'm gonna show you one episode with me staying at Aston Villa and the team that we created. And if you guys don't like it and still want me to go to Dortmund, I did take that job and I have it saved. Uh, and we can take a look at that one and go from there. Uh, here is their offer of 40, 45000 per week to take over Dortmund and their team is ridiculously stacked with players all over the place. Uh, Royce, Jaden Sancho, uh, the list goes on and on. <laughs> There's players everywhere. So to appease the board we offer Reven a contract, small contract, insignificant, uh, 63 overall center back, uh, probably will never play uh, besides uh, some kind of injury or something uh, there so we pass through these last few weeks of the season uh, just to move on and then start anew so we knock out a bunch of uh, training on some youngsters and I'm sitting there training Loftus Cheek even though he will be leaving come July 1st uh, I forgot where we sold him to but he's gone so Villa have decided to go uh, forward with us for this next season, uh, even though we only finished eighth last season, which was a huge disappointment for us. I don't even think we qualified for any kind of Europa League spot that I'm aware of yet. I looked at the calendar and I didn't see anything, but maybe the draw doesn't happen until later and then they show the teams uh, that were selected. So we get we got to turn down these preseason invites. Uh, it's just not worth it uh, to me. It just makes you play more games than needed. So there's our uh, transfer bu budget of 160 million. So we have a ton of money uh, to help build out this squad. So now you see we're at 247 million total after all the transfers went through and the players were sold that we had uh, designated. Treore, Loftus Cheek, and maybe a couple of other ones I forget. So we're sitting at $250 million to build this team. So we have a look at our squad that we have so far. Uh, just terrible depth wise. And uh, center backs, yeah. Wingers, yeah. So uh, we did, in the last uh, window, we did bring in Pharaoh. Who we plug in in place of uh, uh, Abram or Abram, I believe they pronounce it. Uh, so that's an upgrade immediately right there, the 85 overall. Uh, we just need to look at our wingers and we need more depth. Uh, we also may just go out there and spend some big money and change up our formation uh, to see and we have and I forgot to show it to you you guys so we went ahead and we signed La Toro Martinez and Sanchez the center back from Tottenham so two big upgrades there and we're going with a different formation uh, as well going with the 4-1-2-1-2 uh, to help better utilize the players we have and our depth and you can have a look at it here uh, Icardi and Martinez up top, Patrick Harris behind them, Zelensky and Newhouse behind him, Douglas Luiz in a CDM spot, and then Sanchez, Digne, uh, Farrow, and Alexander Arnold in the back. So that is a pretty solid squad if you ask me uh, right now. Uh, we take a look at Manchester City. It doesn't look like they're going with their strongest of teams, and their team looks, I don't know, even their substitutes look kind of off so maybe uh, Manchester City is on the decline here hopefully so and we can move up so they're going with the 4-3-3 and here's our FA Community Shield game to kick off the season and here we go live from Wembley Stadium so 28 minutes in Zelensky Knocks it, he knocks it into Martinez, shoots, scores, and that's like Cordy's first goal of the season and Martinez's first assist. 
And I'm kind of going to give you guys this graphic here to kind of keep you up to date with their current goal and assist totals as the uh, season goes on so you guys can kind of know how these players are performing instead of having to do it like a, a episode where we look at the squad hub. So here comes the, uh, the corner and Sanchez heads that one in from Zelensky with the assist. Sanchez first goal of the season. Great assist from the big man we just brought in. Hopefully he can help out more in those type situations. Here we are 51 minutes in. Well back off the bench. Knocks it in and scores his first goal of the season from the assist by Harris. And that's his first. And it's 3-0 Aston Villa over Manchester City. Just killing him. Martinez gets it in the box. Shoots. He scores. Makes it 4-0 with 20 minutes to go. Assist from Douglas Louise. And hopefully this is a sign of things to come. But Manchester City's team is not the strongest. So Brozovic gets it out to Harris. And he knocks in his first goal of the season to make it one. I mean, to make it 5-0. His first goal, first assist for Brozovic. Last few minutes of this match. A complete route. Complete domination by Aston Villa with the 5-0 victory. So I don't know what's going on with Manchester City or if they took that match uh, seriously or not. But here we go. Our first silverware of the season. Maybe a good sign of things to come uh, maybe with these uh, two new signings we made uh, and we brought in uh, Fusa Mansa right back from Manchester City Manchester United uh, to back up Alexander Arnold uh, so I'm feeling pretty good about this team and definitely getting in a Champions League spot maybe we could challenge for Premier League maybe who knows so you may have the matches Martinez with 10.0. Uh, everybody basically played great except Suso who came in uh, very late in the game and didn't really uh, get a chance to do anything. So there you have it. So here's our press conference. Sanchez put his name on the score sheet. Uh, it's clear to see why we brought him in. Martinez put his name on the, clean, uh, on the score sheet and we have found our talisman. Manchester City is a strong team. How did you pull off such a big victory? To be honest, we didn't know that it was going to go down like that. So Sanchez was disappointed to play. He'll have his moments. He'll play probably more in the Carabao Cup and the FA Cup and those type of things. So we knock out some player training here with some of the youngsters and Harrison Zelensky. Because uh, we can always... Harris is playing amazing, but can always knock his stats up some more take a look at the calendar so we have Burnley up next uh, to kick off the Premier League match day one and we still have this transfer window open so we're gonna oh a training injury and Digne is out two months with a torn groin so just like that our depth goes from good to terrible so now we have to take him off put Emerson in his place and not have a left back, a solid left back, uh, to come in when Emerson tires out. So maybe we'll have to look to get somebody maybe in the uh, mid 70s or low 80s. Well, mid to mid to high 70s to sign. So we're gonna head to Villa Park. For our first match in the Premier League against Burnley, we should be able to take down Burnley, but that's this is why we play the game, so it remains to be seen. So here's a press conference before Burnley. Can the team handle the pressure to qualify for the Champions League? Qualifying is essential. Uh, are Rudiger's days numbered? Of course not. Uh, we definitely need as many defenders as we can keep on the squad, money permitting. So here we go, live from Villa Park. Aston Villa take on Burnley with our buddies Martin Tyler and Alan Smith. Let's take home a victory here and get those three points and start the season off right. So here we have a look at the Villa lineup, the 4-1-2-1-2. 
Douglas Louise, Newhouse, Zelensky, Harris, Martinez, and Icardi up top. And our usual guys on the bench. And here's Burnley with the 4 4 2. They're back four. They're middle four. And Wood and Katu Chu up top uh, as their two strikers. So here we are, two minutes in. Sanchez out to Newhouse. Gets it in. Martinez shoots and scores. Martinez's second goal of the year. Newhouse's first assist. And we're off to a good start here. On the attack again, Welbeck gets it out to Lotaro Martinez, to Brozovic, to Icardi, to Martinez. He shoots, he scores. Just like that, his third goal of the season and Icardi's first assist. Great start all around from our guys right here. So 89 minutes in is 2-1. Suso gets it out. Oh, nice pass to Martinez, to Icardi. Who sets up Welbeck? And Welbeck makes something here. Passes. Tycardi shoots. It's blocked. Suso grabs it. Shoots. Near post and scores. Makes it 3 1. Suso's first goal of the season. And Aston Villa take the 3 1 lead. And that's how this one would end. Three points for the Villa Park boys. And we take home the victory. Great win. Great way to start off the Premier League season. Total domination, 11 to two shots, nine to one shots on target, 53-47 time of possession. Your man of the match again, two in a row. Martinez with 9.6 rating with the two goals on the day. Goal for Newhouse and, I mean, assist for Newhouse and Icardi. And we look to William Doolittle. Why didn't uh, Abram play today? Uh, we got to focus on the entire team. And then do you think Burnley was defeated before we even played the match? Uh, hopefully so. So Rudiger is getting a little nervous about the uh, talk around his job since we brought in Ferro uh, and Sanchez. So. so we get a transfer offer from PSG in the amount of $129.6 million dollars. For Trent Alexander Arnold, we turn it down. Uh, we look around. Uh, Ingolo Conte goes to Barcelona. Interesting, uh, interesting signing there for only 46 million. I wish I'd have known about that, and I would have uh, uh, locked him up. So Skriniar, 125 million. Jovic, so many big deals done. As we look down uh, some of the transfer history for the past few months here. Memphis Depay has come to the uh, Premier League, so that'll be interesting. Some new, fresh blood, uh, high-rated players here. So our last match of the episode finds us going to Hotspur Stadium to take on Tottenham. Uh, they go with the 4-1-2-1-2 as well. Let's see who's up top. Thiago and Iglesias and Son, Harry Winks and Immobile on the bench. And we go with our 4-1-2-1-2. 4-1-2-1-2, yeah. <laughs> uh, with our starting squad up top. And we try to take... This would be a nice win here. We can take down Tottenham. Uh, and in the match with... In the episode with three wins out of three. Cross comes in. Sanchez blocks it. The rebound from Barea. And he knocks it in. And it's 1-0 Tottenham only, what, seven minutes in? Yeah, seven minutes in. So Tottenham on the attack again, 87 minutes in. Just a grind, could not score. They make it 2-0, 88 minutes in. Going to be pretty much impossible to overcome this one. And we'll suffer our first defeat of the season, 2-0 at Tottenham. Just couldn't get the scoring going. They had played a uh, really pressure-type defense, and it just wrecked us. Nine to three shots on uh, shots, six to two on target, 54-46 possession. Play, best player for us, Alexander Arnold, and player of the match is drum roll please, Umtitai. Who that's the first time I heard it pronounced that way when the announcer pronounced it, uh, and that makes much more sense. So Newhouse suffered a big injury, and we're gonna lose him for eight weeks now. Uh, so Dinier's down for two months, Newhouse down for two months. Terrible, terrible, terrible news for us and our depth. 
Uh, we'll take a look Everton up next in our first Carabao Cup match of the season. So please comment below if you want me to stay with this team and play out this or take the Dortmund job and go to Dortmund. So please leave a like, please subscribe if you haven't. Till next episode, take care.